Hi, this is Tim Barrett with NoGeekLeftBehind.com. Today we're going to do a demo and show you how to install Small Business Server 2008 in Hyper-V. And where I'm on right now is actually a laptop and I'm going to remote into a machine that is going to be my Hyper-V host. This is a machine that's on the same land that I'm on and it is a clean install. The only thing it has are patches and antivirus. So this is the IP address of the machine 192.168.6.59 that's just an arbitrary address and here's the desktop of my host machine so to give you a little bit of the lay of the land on this machine if I manage the computer itself I go to storage we'll show you what the drives look like so in this particular box, it's a demo box. I have uh, my primary drive. It's a SATA drive, which is about 150 gigs, and I have Vista 64 on it. That's my main day-to-day -day machine. I also have a one terabyte drive in here. I've cut in half. It's also a SATA drive, and the first partition is an E partition that's 500 gigs roughly, and the same with the Hyper-V partition. So this C partition is the Windows Server 2008 operating system we're using right now. I just did this because I didn't want to dedicate a machine to do demos, so I just put another hard drive in there. This E partition is what holds all of my VPCs. And I also have down here on disk 3, this is a USB drive. It's an external drive that I have uh, all my ISOs on. So also a little bit about the specs of the machine itself. This is uh, Core 2 Duo. It's an HP desktop and it's got 6 gigs of RAM in it. So the first thing I want to do is go to Server Management and when I close that window, Server Management comes up by itself. And I want to go to Roles and I'm going to add a role. And it gives me some uh, information. You can skip this after you read it the first time, but definitely read it. You want to make sure that your administrator account has a strong password, that your IP addresses are static, and that you have all of the Windows updates already installed. So I click Next. The role I'm going to pick is Hyper-V. And hit Next again. And it says, you can hear my dog barking. <laughs> it says before you install the role, you need to make sure that the BIOS can support it. Uh, I've tried numerous uh, workstations and uh, the BIOS always seems to be the, the hang-up. You need a machine that's got at least uh, 6 gigs of RAM if you're going to install Hyper-V and SBS because you need some RAM for the host and SBS wants 8 gigs of RAM by itself. So basically I'm going to hit next. I'm going to pick the one local area network adapter I've got turned on and hit next. And then hit install. And it will require a reboot uh, when it's done installing, and then it will come back up after you log in and do a little bit more on the Hyper-V, and then it'll be done. So we'll just give it a minute here. And like most progress bars, it hangs for a minute and then jumps. And some people use Server Core for their host OS. I'm using regular Server 2008. So there's where it's telling me I have to do a restart of the server to finish the process. I hit close. It prompts me to restart. I hit yes. And it logs me off. The next part, we'll come back and pick up with the, after we reboot.